Hey, this is Carl, and in today's video, we are going to compare the legendary Wolf Killer version 2 Brown Wolverine to the contender, the Cruel Wolf Yellow Wolverine. So stay tuned. So as a thank you to the channel supporters and new supporters, I will be giving away these two statues. To know more, click the card above here or check out the description below. On the left corner, we have the Cruel Wolf Wolverine, uh, sculpted by Kim A. Young, has a height of 15.55 inches, a width of 14.38 inches, and a depth of 12.87 inches, and a price of 950 US dollars. And on the right corner, we have the Wolf Killer Rampage Brown Wolverine. This is sculpted by the great Eric Sosa, has a height of 17 inches, the width is 14 and a half inches and the depth is 12 inches and a whooping price of 2000 US dollars. I know these two Wolverines are different but there are enough similarities for me to compare them. The Wolf Killer yellow version has a different pose kinda while the Cruel Wolf brown version is exactly the same pose as this one but has a different pace a more simpler pace but it's really more or less the exact same wolverine so moving on these two wolverines almost went up on pre-order on the same month uh, i think or just a few weeks in between them i think the cruel wolf wolverine was waiting on what the price for the wolf killer is so they can adjust properly since the wolf killer is the more hype piece as it is sculpted by Eric Sosa and the version 1 was very successful and is actually more than double its original price now so let's start with the base the cruel wolf wolverine has a simple kind of base with some dirt some rocks and wood while the wolf killer has a simple black flat brown museum type of base me personally i love the bases that are simple uh, small bases but the wolf killer's base is just too simple for me i know a lot of collectors uh, like this kind of base but i would have to give the point to the cruel wolf wolverine on this one next is wolverine himself uh, their anatomy is supposed to be similar since the uh, Cruel Wolf is inspired from the OG Wolf Killer, which is inspired from the art of Mad Joe, I think. But looking at them on hand, the Cruel Wolf uh, Yellow Wolverine's anatomy, in my opinion, is more correct. He just looks like a really muscular short guy. Whereas the Brown Wolverine is extremely muscular and some of his proportions are no longer right or correct with a lot of imaginary muscles as well i know that it is intentional which i really love actually the brown wolverine actually has a uh, smaller head than the yellow one and they have more or less the same uh, size of their hands but the yellow wolverine has longer arms uh, while the brown wolverine has longer and bigger claws not that it matters but the brown wolverine also has uh, bigger boots than the yellow one anyway uh, despite the anomaly between them the brown wolverine is still far superior in this category it has a lot of those uh, extra small details making it really more superior earning him one point next the cruel wolf wolverine has a few textures on his suit namely on his belt his glove and the tiger stripes on his torso and the black part on his cowl as well also some battle damages on his shoulder pads whereas the brown wolverine doesn't have any textures on his costume at all there are just a uh, stitching on his belt but the yellow wolverine also has uh, those stitching in a few areas in his costume Honestly speaking, the brown wolverine doesn't even need those textures to look good. 
but still gotta give the point to the yellow one for uh, those textures. Now let's go to the portraits. Both Wolverine have uh, three portraits, two mask and one unmasked portrait. Uh, I don't like both unmasked portraits on both Wolverines, but if I have to choose one, the brown Wolverine has my vote. But both are still sculpted pretty good, lots of strands on the hair, but the brown Wolverine's unmasked portrait uh, just fits the statue more than the yellow one because he is kind of uh, emotionless here on the yellow Wolverine. And I think they should have also went with a black hair than brown on the Cruel Wolf. Going to the mass portraits, both are extremely good. However, the paint on the brown Wolverine's beard looked like his face was smeared by coal and the beard on the yellow Wolverine is almost non-existent. Like I said, both mass portraits from both Wolverines are extremely good but I have to give the point to the yellow one for this one. Next is the paint. I believe both Wolverines are produced by the same factory. So besides the messy beard paint on the brown Wolverine, I have to say the overall paint on it is extremely good. His skin tones on his arms are really good and I really love them. Whereas the uh, yellow Wolverine's arm is a little bit palish in my opinion and he is not as yellow and as blue as I wanted him to be. While the brown Wolverine is very vibrant. And with that said, point again to the brown Wolverine. Lastly is the pose. The brown Wolverine's pose looks like he is on a battle stance here while the yellow Wolverine kinda looks like he is uh, drunk with the unmasked portrait on. But it looks pretty good with the mask portraits anyway. But I really don't like how the yellow Wolverine's chest is uh, compressed in this pose. While on the brown one is very exposed uh, which is good making every muscle on his body really emphasized. So point again to the brown Wolverine. Some of the categories I mentioned may not matter to other collectors, but they matter to me. That's why I wanted to focus on them. I don't think you will be making a mistake on which Wolverine you choose. It all boils down to budget and which detail on the statue matters to you. Anyway, I can't think of any more categories I want to tackle making this comparison a tie. In my opinion, I honestly think that the Cruel Wolf uh, overall sculpt is maybe around 80% of the Wolf Killer uh, Rampage. So I can still say that the uh, Wolf Killer has the better sculpt than the Cruel Wolf Wolverine. I guess it all just goes down to which category I have mentioned you prefer. You like a very muscular Wolverine but can't take this simple round black base? Then go for the Cruel Wolf Wolverine. Want the perfect looking Wolverine and don't mind the price tag? Then definitely go for the Wolf Killer here. And I do think that the sculpt on this one is perfect. But I still prefer the OG Wolf Killer though. I don't know which Wolverines will go up in value or maybe down. But the Wolf Killer is already very expensive as it is. Kinda doubt that it will go up. But I think the Cruel Wolf has more value due to it being half the price of this one. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for watching till the end. This is Carl and see you in the next one.